hello coders welcome back to tutorial so guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can use particle js on your website with the help of ts particles that is typescript version of the particle so guys here you can see this is the official documentation website of the particle js here you can see there are some background thing going on and these are the confettis and colors and backgrounds rendered with the help of particle js so guys, there are many variants of this particle js and it is available on all of the platforms and you can use it in any of your frameworks or library for example you can use it in your vanilla javascript project or you can also use this inside your angular or react even you can use this in your wordpress website with the help of plugins and elementors in this video i'm going to talk about how you can use this inside the react js so when you click on this then you can see this is going to open a github project which is basically for implementing particle js on the react applications and guys this is the package which helps you to use particle js in your react application but in this video i'm going to use the typescript version of this package that is react ts particles so let's search for that so guys you can see this is the package which we are going to use to use particle js in our react application and the name of this package is react js particles you can search on npm or google you can find this very easily so guys if you come below this then you can see how you can use particle js in your application so the documentation is very very easy you can see the documentation for this javascript object and typescript object if you are going to use typescript then you can use this but for now let's try to use this the javascript version and guys i have already written an article on this and i already have made a video on this but that video is very less informative so i am creating this video again so if you go to my website then you can see here this is the article in which i am showing you how you can use particle js in your website so now let's just follow this article and you can also follow this documentation or you can even go to this github page and follow the documentation so in this you can see we have to first create a project so for that i'm going to create a new react project in my computer and i'm going to create this project with the help of read and here i'm going to open the terminal and i'm going to create a react application with the help of read so for that we have to run npm create read after this you have to give the name of project so for now i'm going to name it particle react and now i have to select which project i'm going to create for now let's select react and now here i'm going to select the javascript version for now so let's try to use this and now our project has been created so now we can navigate to our project with the help of cd and react and now you can install all of the dependencies which are required for our react application so npm install now it is going to install all of the dependencies for now let's have a look at documentation so guys if you come to this website again and if you go to this api doc or documentation so guys you can see there are many things in this documentation which is very very hard to understand here you can see there are many versions of this package and this is a slim bundle which is basically for uh, implementing the basic things of the particle js and this is a full bundle that is used with the help of this load full which is going to install all of the files of particle js in your project and it is going to obviously going to make your project bigger but it is going to provide all of the functionalities of the particle js and this slim version is going to only copy the files which are required for basic functionalities after that you can see there are many presets already built presets for example for the fireworks you can install only this package and this is going to give you functionality for fireworks only not any other functionalities like uh, confetti or any colors just for the fireworks so guys here you can see there are many types of presets available you can use them independently if you just want to use that uh, feature of this particle js only but for now let's try to get things started as quickly as possible and for that we have to just install the whole package with the help of this load full function that is basically going to load the full bundle so i think our project should have been created and you can see everything is installed now now you can just open this in vs code or any code editor so this is our project right now so let's try to run this run npm run dev 
so this is our project right now so now we are going to see how we can use the particle just in this project so for that you can see here we have to install these two packages so in the documentation you can see you have to install this package with the help of this command npm i react ts particles then you have to install these ts particles also from which we are going to use this function to load the whole bundle so for now let's just install these two packages with the help of this command you can just copy it from here and run it in your terminal by opening a new terminal and just run it here so now you can see these packages are installed so now we can use the particle js in our website so for that we have to import this particles component from the react js particles so let's just copy this and now i'm going to create a new folder for components inside which i'm going to create the particle js component and we are going to use that as the background for our main component that is app component and inside this i'm going to create new component that is particle background dot jsx and now you can create a simple react component inside this and here we are going to import the particle component by writing import particles from the react js particles after that we can use this package inside our application so just remove this and write particles and inside this component we have to give some props that are id for id let's give it particles ts particles and here we have to give the init function that is going to run and load our bundle required for the particle js in the documentation i show you this load full and load slim and from the particle js component you can call this function as init and this is going to load our bundle for particle js so now let's just import this function from the from the ts particles so for that we have to write this code import load full from ts particles and just write it on the top after that we can use this function to initiate or load the bundles so for example we are going to create a function here and you can name this function anything so let's for now name it load bundles or load particles and this function is going to stack up argument so for example let's write it main and after that we are going to call the loadful function inside this loadful and we are going to pass this argument and guys inside this function you can write any customization or any type of presets you want to reuse inside your particles you can define the default behaviors or default presets inside this function after that you can run the loadful so here in the documentation you can see you can initialize the particle js instance or engine that means the whole bundle of particle js which are required for rendering those particles is going to be loaded inside your application with the help of this loadful function after that this loads the particle js bundle and it is gs method for getting started everything but guys, this function is going to be an async function and this loadful function have to await to get everything started after that we can call this function inside the particle js component by writing init and we can pass the name of this function and now the third argument which is required for this is the options and guys this takes an object here which is basically configuration or styling for the particles you want to render on your website for example you can see this is the basic configuration for rendering the particles and i have also used this on my own articles so here you can see you can pass the size of a screen and after that you can pass the styling of the particles so let's just copy this option from here and try this so i'm just going to copy this object from here and just paste it inside our application now let's try to import this component inside our app.js so on the top i'm going to write particles background and make sure that it is imported from the components folder now let's try to view it in our project then as you can see our particles is rendered successfully but guys it is hiding our this content 
because the index of the particle this is right now the one so you can customize this however you want and style it according to your project for example you can pass the index to minus one then it is going to backward so now let's reload the project so let's just end the live server and restart it and now you can see our particles are showing as the background and our content is showing on the top here and guys for now our particles is set as fixed background and our content is scrollable so let me show you by writing some more content here so for example let's write some paragraphs and now you can see you can scroll this content and the background is going to be fixed but if you want to set this particle js inside a div or any container so for that you have to disable this full screen by setting it to false you can return a div from here or any component from here instead of this particles component or you can wrap this component inside this app.js inside any of the html content or html element for example let's write uh, particles container container and inside this i'm going to put the particle background now you can see this is constrained inside this div and it is not showing in the whole background and it is also not fixed now so if you try to scroll this then it is also going to upward and now you can style this however you want so for example let's try to style this div and, and let's see if it is responding to that or not so i'm going to css and i'm going to just write the class name here and i'm going to set the width of this so so for now let's set the width to 600 pixel and let's try to see this then you can see the width now it can stand inside the 600 pixels so that means you can style it however you want with the help of css as a regular html element by passing this prop full screen enable is equal to false and for now let's remove this and let's set it as the background only i'm going to set it to true again so guys as you can see here this is looking very cool right now but let's try to understand what are those configs or options so guys in this object you can see this is a full screen which is basically for setting the screen size or rendering area after that you can see the particles which is basically defining what particles and what colors of those particles is going to be rendered inside this you can see the number of particles and inside this you can see the density and guys density means how many particles is going to be rendered per area after that you can see the color of this particle that is currently white and after that you can see the star is the shape of this particle so after that you can see the opacity is set here so guys there are basically many types of these configs inside these particles after that you can see the line length which basically means this line which is connecting to other particles after that you can see this is move which means if these particles is going to move inside this application or not so let's try to set it to false then you can see it is going to be static so let's just turn it back to true and it is start moving again after that you can see there is interactivity which is for making these particles interactive whenever the mouse hover on this and these are defining what types of interaction is going to happen after that you can see this is the retina detect which means whenever the high resolution screen is going to be detected the particle js is going to render the high density or high quality particles so after that you can see the background which is defining the background for these particles that is currently black after that you can also set the images as the background and you can set the position of the image or background enough of this configuration for now let's see how we can get the code for these presets and options so basically you have to go to the particle js again and here you can see there are many types of presets already available on this website and in this panel you can see here you can change the preset from this menu so let's try to change it to colors and now you can see this color is rendering and it is also interactive so you can see this beautiful effect and now we can copy the config or code for this effect so for that we have to just click on the export after that the code for these particles and interaction is going to be downloaded and we can just copy this code from here or create a variable inside our application and just pass it inside the options so for now let's try to pass it inside this option so as this is how our website looks now and this is very cool effect by the way 
so that's how you can get the code for the configs and options of the presets and guys there are many of these presets available on this website so you can see there are among us tunnel hexagons and if you want more then you can go to this demo or presets so let's try to go to demo and here you can see there are many many presets available so let's try to get this basic so this is the basic which is not looking very good you can also customize the code for the options or configs from here by changing these values i saw snow here so guys this is the preset for snow right here you can change the colors and stylings from here and you can change any type of interaction from here after that you can click on this uh, after that you can click on this code and after that you can get this code from here and you can use this inside your application and guys this is another website i like to get presets for the particle js you can get this link in the description below and after that you can come to this website and you can see these are the particles presets you can customize anything from here for example you can increase the line numbers and you can decrease these line numbers you can also change the color of these particles so change it to blue and you can also change the background from here to white or dark and now you can export this code from here after customizing so for that you have to click on this download current config and after that you can get the code for these particles right now so let's try to use this so you can copy this code from here and just put it inside our options you can create a file where you can put all of these options and you can use from there i'm going to create a folder inside this and i'm going to put all of these options i'm showing right now so you can get it from there and i'm going to upload this project on the github so you can get it easily so let's try to paste it inside this and now let's try to reload our website so guys this is how our website looks now this is very very helpful website and you can also get the presets from here so guys you can get many more presets like this on this website you can click on this menu and you can select any of these so for now let's select snow and now we can just change anything inside this and it is going to change according to that config after that we can export this and use this inside our application so guys i am going to leave the links for these resources inside the description you can check it from there and i think you have now enough understanding of the particle js and how to use it so guys that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to get next video of this series and stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial